Number three, find the north and east components of the displacement for the hiker shown. Okay, looks like we're missing a letter. No big deal. Now we're not. Okay, so north and east components of the displacement. So where's the displacement in the picture? The displacement is, remember, the straight line distance between the start point and the end point. So the starting point is here, the ending point is here, and that's the straight line distance. So therefore, it is the displacement. Now it says to find the north and east components. So what that means is create a triangle from this displacement so that that triangle has a northern component and an eastern component. So how would we do that? Well, let me put a little dot up here. I'm going to draw it on the picture. Okay, let me start from the beginning. So if I start from the starting point and draw my path on north, I get that side of the triangle. And then if I go from that point and I go now to the right, I get the east component. So this part here is the north component. And this point, this part right here is the east component. Okay, wonderful. What shape do we have, guys? We have a triangle. So can we find um, those sides of the triangle? I think we might be able to. So first thing before I draw the triangle in the answer section, how, what is this angle right here? What would it be? Well, I know that this side is 40. So therefore, I know if this is a right angle in there, I know that it has to be 90 minus 40. So what would that be? Right, it'd be 50 degrees. So the angle right in here would be 50 degrees. And before we rewrite the triangle, this S right here is the length of the displacement. Okay, so let's just uh, rewrite it down here just so we have a little more room. And it's not to scale but it'll do. So this side here was 5.0 kilometers. We found this angle here to be 50 degrees. And what we're doing is we're looking for the north and the east components. Okay, so how do we find them? Well, it doesn't matter which one we start with. Why don't we start with finding the north component? So you only know two pieces of information about the triangle. You know this angle and this side, right? So what is this side called? That's the hypotenuse longest side of the triangle. It's always the side opposite of the right angle. Okay, great. Um, what would now the north side be considered relative to the degree measure? Well, it's kind of on its side, right? So that would be considered the adjacent side. Okay, so this side is the adjacent. So what you need to do now is look, think of a formula that relates the adjacent side to the hypotenuse and that involves an angle, right? Look on the right-hand side, that looks to me like it would be a cosine formula. So let's write that down. Cosine of theta would be equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So the cosine of our angle, which is 50, would equal the adjacent side, which is the northern component, divided by the hypotenuse, which we know to be 5.0. So now take out your calculator, make sure it's in degree mode, and calculate cosine of 50. The cosine of 50 is going to be We'll round to two sig figs, 0.64. So that equals n over 5.0. How do we solve for n? Simple, just cross multiply. So the northern component here is going to be 0.64 times 5. Two sig figs, so we're going to have 3.2 kilometers. Great, how did I know it's kilometers? Because those were the units of my hypotenuse. All right, wonderful. Now let's redraw the triangle again just so we can uh, doodle it up again. So here, down here, and then we went across. Good. Remember this side was 5.0 again. We know this um, to be 50 degrees. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to look for the eastern side. Okay, remember this 5.0 represents the hypotenuse. So now I need to think of a formula that relates an angle to the opposite side of the triangle right, OPP, and the hypotenuse. So what formula over on the right-hand side might do that? Looks like the sine formula, right? So let's write that down. So sine of theta is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So the sine of 50 is gonna equal the eastern component divided by the hypotenuse of 5.0.
So let's plug in the sine of 50 in the calculator. Sine of 50 works out to be 0 0.7, I'm going to round to two sig figs, 7, is equal to the eastern component over 5.0. Great. How do we solve? Cross multiply. So the eastern component of this displacement is 0.77 times 5. And three, two sig figs we need, so it's going to be 3.9 kilometers after we round. And that would be the eastern component. All right, that sounds like we solved that problem. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. And I'll see you guys next time. Remember, please subscribe. Thank you.